I, mm-hmm. I'm done with open world games, and I know I'm like sucking off Elden Ring by saying like and then saying this, but I can't do open world games because it's like I only have so much time to game in the day now, like because mm-hmm. work and all this shit, and it's like if you want me to like traverse an open world with like 20 things to do. I just care about the story. I just want to do that. I don't care about all the bases to unlock and all the side shit. Like, just give me the game. God, and that's why I haven't really so finished beautiful. it. It's just so I beautiful. It is. I walked, to, like, when you walk right into, like, Limegrave the first time, I wanted to actually cry. And then I opened the treasure box that transported me to Rotland, and I died a million times. I couldn't figure out how to fast travel. Uh, so well, I was I stuck there. <laughs> one that teleported me to, like, a hellscape. Like, yes! This, like it's called yeah sailor or exactly yes dude i opened it up i got teleported there right in the beginning i didn't even do the tutorial part like i didn't know how to fast travel and i was just dying again and again because even like the little mobs were stronger than i was each of them yeah because they because they teleport you to like a high level place and it's is it like that mining area or something yeah right? yeah with the crystals yeah, it's and then, like the okay. it's the volcanic ash place or something yeah what about yeah. the uh the river area with all like the stars you guys been oh, there yet? i don't know so if i've been there real- Oh my god, yeah. you go down the elevator Yo. and you see that stuff. I, I that's shit awesome. and that's came. I, I was actually... <laughs> oh my god, I was full chubbed going down that well. Yeah, I like oh that area. God. It was pretty cool. Like, when, yeah, I didn't see that I, area. No, you go into the elevator and you go down. It's like a big elevator, right? It takes like, like 20 minutes to get like, down there. <laughs> it's, it's like the the tree the it's near the big golden tree uh in the oh forest to the right of where you start not not the massive golden tree but like the mm-hmm. second largest golden yeah. tree oh it's, okay, like, okay. it's like a weird yeah. elevator that's just it's cool out of view and you go into yeah. it and that's the thing i love about it it's like it reminds me a lot of like it's i feel like it's what breath of the wild should have been you know mm-hmm. it's like breath of the wild gave you like a million fucking shrines to go to and it, they're all puzzles. It's cool and all, but it's not like you go down this decrepit elevator and you see this fucking like star like ceiling. Like it's mm-hmm. it's, it's yeah, something nice. you don't expect. Yeah, because yeah. Breath of Wild at a point you just know what you're gonna get. Like after a few hours, like another yeah. puzzle, another puzzle. I never even played that game, Breath of the Wild. Elden Ring is definitely the second best open world game after Pokemon Legends of Ice. Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I play Skyrim. I've never I really like Oblivion Skyrim. more than yes, I like Skyrim. dude. I'm saying like Ob- Skyrim feels like diet Oblivion because like mm-hmm. in Oblivion you kill someone, go to sleep. You have someone over your body, just like I saw you. How did about that. Morrowind? We like that though. Morrowind, oh, that's dude. I split the before, shit right? Morrowind. Yeah, Morrowind was like you, ah yes. We've been expecting you, <laughs> the first guy. <laughs> when you go to choose your class, it's just this whack ass looking fucking old guy, and he goes ah yes. And that's all well, I remember, pretty much. I, I know. I know the best thing about Morrowind is this is the one of Elder Scrolls game within like ten minutes you can break and fly across the map. Oh yeah, you, you can speedrun it in four minutes. You can yeah. speedrun the oh game in four gosh. minutes and kill oh, yeah. uh, Dagother or whatever his name is. I love. Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like a lot of RPGs and and open world like JRPGs especially. I just don't really find any interest in it. Is because of my whole childhood pre internet, which was a long time. I didn't even have internet till I was like 12 uh okay. was just morrowind oblivion and uh red faction gorilla were those like three games that i just beat and then would beat the next one and then just beat red the next faction one was the uh game where you could like create like infinite holes into the fucking wall right like it was i think so yeah i think yeah, it's made it had, by like, an explosive terrain type stuff yeah. too or something i like think that. it was linked to saints row somehow they're like the same. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the because it was the same company and like Ultor yeah. and like Red Faction okay. was the big yep. company in Saints Row 2, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And the, like those three games, so I just have like a really skewed desire of what to play, and I fucking love Skyrim and Fallout and stuff, but I Oblivion... always like the Fallout stuff over like I was like Fallout over anything Skyrim and beyond in Elder Scrolls. Like even when it came when it comes to like oblivion and skyrim like i love oblivion but like if you gave me my perfect bethesda game i'd put fallout 3 actually three. Love- over really? new vegas though really? i like new vegas, new vegas, vegas but i like the environment in three a lot like i okay. really like DC. the capital wasteland yeah because yeah. i don't think anything matches close to me like when you get right into the heart of dc and it's like super mutant territory yeah because it, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of cool like at least like back in the day in an xbox because there's when I was playing it on the 360, I remember before entering DC, I like really was role playing. I was like, I'm gonna get a sniper rifle, I'm gonna get a attachment on it, I'm gonna like Got some I caps, prepped. dude. I prepped <laughs> before I went into DC. I bought like everything from Moira's shitty wasteland store. I like killed a guy to get his rifle, <laughs> like Sheriff Sims. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna like I fucking kill him. And every time I see his kid, it's like 
oh, my dad. He's. Mi-. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, kid. But dad <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Anchorage DLC was fucking sweet too, dude. Oh, yeah. Anchorage. That was like the Matrix little thing, right? Going to like some war in the past or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they gave yeah, you the Chinese Fallout. stealth suit at the end. Yes, like, oh, dude. And you crouch. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Hell, Holy that, shoot. That's what I like. Like New Vegas, obviously, I think it's a superior Fallout game, but it's like, man, just walking into DC and seeing it taken over while you're yeah. holding a sniper looking at Super Mutants. I'm like, that's that's like a full game. And this is a thing with like gaming now. It's like obviously when you come across a lot of these open world titles, I'm sure if you're like a kid, it'll probably blow your brains, right? Like mm-hmm. an Assassin's Creed game right now probably has more content than like six, seven Assassin's Creed games when we were like younger Easily. however oh the gosh, difference yes. is the content i think was more substantial back then because it's like oh you gave me like a million points on the map or at least it's like playable like nowadays it's like kids are so used to like having five minute quest lines and like collect yeah. like 13 artifacts and get nothing out of it like i'm like yeah it's a lot of shit that you can do but i don't know if it's like stuff that is meaningful or maybe like i've grown too old like maybe it's just like not for me anymore like maybe if I was like a thirteen year old kid or a fourteen year old kid, I'm like a game that lasts for six hundred hours, fucking sign me up. And now yeah. I'm like, nah, I can't. What about Red Dead? Did you guys ever play Red Dead Two? Yes. Oh my gosh, dude! I finished I that Red on Dead the too. weekend because I couldn't stop playing it. Same man. I I, I like a story. whole week, a whole week. I just played that, and that's it. That's all I did. Mm-hmm. Dude, First time ever sucked me in. Like I was it's just, so like, good. I wanted to like everyone was like exploring, doing shit in the town. Dude, the I just fucking weekend. played the story. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just like, played the story. Acting, everything got me into it. Like all oh, the twists and turns it took. So I'm like, shit. Yeah, it's so good. See, that's I think that might be why I can't really get into Elden Ring is because like the gameplay itself um, is just like I don't know. That's not really like the strong part for me. For my brain, I just like a really solid like narrative and yeah, that's the wrong game story. to get. Nobody's buying a Souls game for the narrative. I don't even think the narrative yeah. is no. good in Elden Ring to be real. I just, I just nah, don't that, say like, that, I saw bro. The reviews no and, and everyone was super positive about it, and like people that I really look up to loved it. So I was like, yeah. man, it must be Give good. It a but, try. Yeah. yeah.